the day that Martin Luther King uh, said this is I, uh, I have a dream in Washington, D.C. I just remember being glued to the television. Like I'm sure many uh, Americans were, and and thought it it was a, a phenomenal day to see so many out and they're making the world aware of our struggles here in the states. We will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men. Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. The stance that Rosa Parks took and the courage that she had just to sit and to start a revolution that helped to bring out a, um, a better world pretty much for everyone, if you really look at it, not just for blacks, but it really uh, helped the uh, black race uh, to get some equality. And then uh, Martin Luther King coming to her aid uh, to help advance uh, the movement. We did not experience a lot of prejudices personally, but we could see there was an improvement, but there are a lot of attitudes that remain the same. So you just had to adjust to the situation, the time, and the place that you were in at, the t uh, at each stage uh, of our lives. My greatest accomplishment in life, I think, is to be the best mom that I can be. I, don't believe in uh, teaching our children negative uh, things. I didn't want to plant that, I didn't even want to plant that seed of, of prejudice that uh, this person is different from you or you're different from the uh, another individual. True, um, they knew their skin color was different, but they knew they uh, they were taught that they were uh, equal to everyone. One thing that I was taught, and I uh, believe that to my heart, to treat people the way I want to be treated, and I uh, believe that wholeheartedly, and I try to teach our children as well, treat people the way you want to be treated.